Well, welcome back, friends. Part two. There it is out there. Tahiti. Hoping the sim stays stable. We are five hours, seven minutes into this flight. And it's going all right so far. We're 56 nautical miles out. Just to make, about to make our right turn at Aroba. You can see right here. Aroba. So let's turn off our half bank mode as we get ready to make this right turn. Because when we make this right turn, slow to 265. When we make this right turn, we're on final, friends. It's a long final, which works for me. We do have our ILS frequency entered in at 1099. And we're making the right turn now. But we are not receiving any ILS information yet, not surprisingly, at 50 miles out. Big right turn. There's the gigantic Pacific down there, and there's Tahiti right out there. Just hoping the sim stays stable, as I always am. 50 miles out, 14,900 feet. Altitude's perfect. Currently descending at 2,000 feet per minute. We'll shallow that out to 1,800 feet per minute. We'll slow to 260. Big right turn. But... We'll manage it. 48 miles now and 14,300 feet. 260, airspeed's stable. We are using the Arab, A-R-O-B, Alfa Romeo Oscar Bravo 3 Victor standard terminal arrival star for this approach. Weather in Tahiti. Well, we've never landed, to my knowledge. I looked at my records. Landed in Fiji, but never Tahiti. 86 degrees, mostly sunny, so the weather in the sim looks good. Winds are out of the northeast at 11 miles an hour. Trade winds. Humidity 63%. Heat index 93 degrees. Altimeter 299 or 8. Visibility 6 miles. Hopefully we have success on this approach. 12,700, slow to 255. Always more anxious. I mean, I'm always a little anxious on an approach in the sim. But after a five-hour flight, even more so. Kind of a fun little irony here. Let's zoom in on our MFD down to 10. Uh, fun little twist here. We took off from uh, Easter Island in the southeastern Pacific at uh, just past, um, well, if memory serves, just past noon local time, just past 11 a.m. here in Southern California. And we're going to be landing local time here in Tahiti 1.22 p.m the next day because we crossed over the international dateline so on paper anyway it looks like a 25 hour flight slow to 250 but it's not really just been chasing the sun westward across the pacific there it is out there friends now i did read on the boards in my usual preparation for flying into a new airport there are some potential issues that we should anticipate as it relates to lining us up shallow water descent rate 1600 feet per minute luckily weather's okay so if we have to go visual we will slow to 245 but anyway yeah the boards uh, commented on the fact that the uh, ILS approach does not line you up at least in their experiences. And of course, this is under previous builds. So we'll see if uh, there's any changes to that. Shallow our descent right now to 1,400 feet per minute. Slow to 240. Let's go ahead and get our landing lights on. Fingers crossed here, friends. This is very, 
nerve-wracking. I'm really grateful that I was tipped off about potential... That's correct for our altimeter. 299 or 7, okay. 1015, Q&H. Anyway, I was glad I was tipped off that there may be issues about this approach path, so let's uh, be very careful. 30 miles out, still no ILS data receiving. So to 235. We do have the correct ILS frequency programmed in at 109 or 9 or 29 miles out, 7,900 feet. We'll shallow out our descent rate down to 1,000 feet per minute. Monitoring our AOA, looks good. Really would like to see some ILS data start coming in here soon. But, nav one, no data. This could be fun. Um, anyway, I'm looking here on my ForeFlight app. Airport looks like that might be it right there. If that's true, we're right of it. Slow to 230. Oof. Uh, okay, coming up on Carno. Right there. Winds are coming basically right at us at 11 knots here aloft. That's consistent with real-time weather. 24 miles, 6,700 feet, looking good. Slow to 225. As usual, whenever we uh, do an approach into a airport... Bravo, whiskey contact. Tahiti approach on 121 decimal tree. Good day. 213, 3 whiskey, good day. Uh, outside the U.S., the, it's a little trickier to find airport data. Okay, we're leveling off at 6,000. Well, we managed to find out a little bit anyway. The airport elevation is 5. Carno is planned. Got it. And runway length 11,220. We got ILS. Okay, we'll expect uh, ILS 04 Zulu approach. Uh, All right, I'm going to switch this over to NAV. I mean, we're ready to go. Interesting. You see how it's off? See how the CDI is left? Very interesting. Okay. Well, we grab the glide slope. Slow to 220. Two Our altitude's okay right now. Anyway, I don't have anything besides runway length of 11,220 feet by 148 feet wide. Uh, airport elevation, 5 foot. ILS frequency, 1099er. And we're going to have to backtrack after we land. Slow, 215. We're definitely, definitely seems like we are not aligned. See this weird thing here right past Ovini? It sort of jogs left. Well, anyway, we got good weather, so so the 210. Ah, uh, this is happening. The same the same thing happened in Easter Island. Let's cancel. Cancel IFR. Sorry, we'll do exactly the same thing we had to do in Easter Island. It's, you know, it's weird. They don't give you descent instructions. Or they, they, I can't maintain 6,000 feet where they told me. I just can't do it. So the 200. Okay, now we'll uh, just contact the airport. There we go. There we go. Good. Zoom in. Request flight following. Cessna November tree four tree. Bravo whiskey Tahiti approach. Down to three. Squawk Weird. Zero, zero, four, tree. Okay, can I contact Squawk now zero, for zero, four, tree, Cessna, tree, Bravo, landing whiskey. clearance? 
So the one nine or five. Nine three Bravo whiskey radar contact one one mile south of Maria three thousand five hundred feet. Altimeter Ten miles out. Niner, We're still on the glide slope. Okay. Roger Cessna. I don't need to acknowledge whiskey. radar contact. That's so funny. Nearest airport list. NTAA. Tahiti Tower nice. Cessna November okay, good. three four three Bravo whiskey is one one mile southwest three thousand. So one nine or zero. With Mike to land. Ten miles out. Cessna November three four three Bravo whiskey Tahiti Tower. So I'm down to two. Altimeter two niner decimal niner six one zero zero three at one tree. Make north straight north in runway east. zero four. All right, make straight in. Make straight zero in four. runway zero four Cessna three Bravo whiskey. Altimeter is correct. Landing lights on. So the one eight five. We are not aligned though. Does not appear that we are quite aligned. I'm looking for the airport. I'm still not seeing it, oddly. It's okay. 180. Landing gear. Landing gear. Speed brakes. Okay, friends. It's very tense. Notch of flaps. Boy, that looks pretty, huh? Go outside. Gear. Clear to land runway 04 through a whiskey. Clear to land runway 04 Cessna tree. Bravo Other notch of flaps. That looks great. Let's slow us down. Approach speed 139. Still looking for the goddamn airport, though. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, we're aligned. We're good. And we're on the glide slope. 139. Go full flaps. Just stay stable, baby. Full flaps. There it is, friends. Tahiti. All right, I, I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's the runway marker lights. Oh, and I got two and two. Two and two on the poppies. Nice. All right, friends. Two mile final, runway zero four. Two mile final. We're going to have to backtrack after we land. Auto throttle. Disconnected. Okay, here we go, friends. Zoom this down, take the MFD down to one. We are nicely aligned. Yeah, actually, there ended up not being any alignment problems. I was, I didn't expect that. Wow, that looks great. Five hundred call out. Autopilot. Autopilot. I have the airplane. Wind's coming right at us. Got two and two on the poppies. On the left side there of the runway. Two whites, two reds. We're still on the glide slope. Perfect. Although autopilot is disconnected. Long runway. Nice off offset threshold. Just don't crash the desktop. It's all I ask. Ten knots coming right at us. Zero four confirmed. Markers. Ten. Spoilers up. Reversers on. All right, friends. Welcome to. Tahiti. Nice, huh? Let's tap the brakes here. Spoilers are up. Reversers off now. We'll make a big old U-turn. There is a turnaround spot up ahead. But with a 148 foot wide 
runway. I think we don't need to go all the way to the end to make this turn around right here. You see this? See that? We're going to use this one here on the left. All right. Very good. Very good. Cessna tree, Bravo whiskey, contact ground on 118 decimal one. Contact ground one one eight one. One one eight decimal one Cessna tree Bravo whiskey. Oh my God! Look at Tahiti. How beautiful it looks. Oh, you have no idea how much I wish I was here. We're here. I wish I were here. Contact ground. Taxi to parking. Tahiti ground Cessna November tree four tree Bravo whiskey request taxi to parking. Let's bring in those spoilers. Flaps. Taxi to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Cessna Tree Bravo Whiskey. This is great. Wow. Doesn't this look beautiful? Look at this. Oh my god. Why can't I be in Tahiti for real, please? Someone tell me. Just stay stable, baby. We're almost at the end. After this beautiful long flight. Stop our timer. 523.12. Tahiti. Wow, fun. What a great flight. As I mentioned in part one, I wanted to go to Auckland, but it was just... just outside our range. All right. There's the turn. Right there. Nice. There's our parking space. Awesome. Well, welcome to Tahiti, friends. 1.35 p.m. Local time. We took off just after noon yesterday. That's a little weird, isn't it? Turn off our pulse lights. Whoops. Pulse lights. Landing lights are off. Taxi light on. Okay. Okay, let's park, friends. There's our marshaller. Almost done. Don't crash on me yet. Come on, Sim. a big old bird there. It's like an A340 maybe? Got it. All right, friends. Parking brake. Right engine. Taxi lights off. Let's go and... Uh, Turn off our pedostatics. Looked last one one last time outside. There she is, November 343 Bravo Whiskey. Oh, it's an A380. Look at the double decker. I didn't see the double decker before. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Probably Air France. Nice. God damn it, I wish I were in Tahiti for real. Anyway. November 343 Bravo Whiskey is in Tahiti, my friends. For the first time, we're very happy to be here after this wonderful flight from Easter Island, where we spent two weeks, which is a long time in Easter Island. Sim estimated four hours and 52 minutes for this flight, but I think the Sim just doesn't work in winds aloft. We had a really monster headwind for the first, oh, I don't know, two hours of this flight. 90 knots. So that slowed us down a bit. But regardless, we're here. We're safe. We're happy. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, turn off our remaining lights and drop to the desk. Drop to the logbooks. Nah, <laughs> not drop to the desktop. Drop to the logbook screen. All right, friends.
There it is. Skip! SCIP, Sierra Charlie, India Papa to NTAA, November Tango Alpha Alpha. Time of flight, total time of flight, 5 hours, 19 minutes, 46 seconds. Day takeoff, day landing in our beloved November 343 Bubble Whiskey. I don't know how long we'll be in uh, Tahiti before we fly again. Not a lot of experience in the South Pacific. Fiji, though, I think was the last place we were, last time we were here in the South Pacific was in Fiji. But in any event, thanks for joining us, and I hope everybody has a great day, a great week ahead, and we'll see where we fly next. But uh, hey, for now, System Update 9 continues to deliver. Have a good one, everybody.